Hello, Uta here of Trans Widow, Uta Hagen YouTube channel and of WordPress blog, Uta Hagen Grass Widow dot WordPress dot com. This is my uh, recently picked Jowy Winnie Dahlia. They're starting to all come down in the rain. We've had so much rain. Um, and uh, this is about to go over this Emery Paw uh, Dahlia and we will put them up here. Now it happens to be September 11th, 2023. And uh, I'm just going to say to the cross sex ideating man who wrote a lengthy comment that I have no interest in reading all the way until the end. Um, uh, it's just so tone deaf to write this self-congratulatory comment to me um, on September 11th. I was there in New York City. I was in Brooklyn right across the East River from everything. I heard the first impact. I felt the first impact. It traveled over and I thought a helicopter had dropped something onto the roof of our school building. Um, and uh, anyone who, you know, tries to convince me that there are the nice ones, um, you know, I know that Nettie thinks that he's one of the nice ones too. And so what happens is you get basically blocked from the channel. So um, I'm not going to get into any kind of back and forth. I'm not going to let my subscribers get into any kind of back and forth. You are intruding on our entire sisterhood, and you are not invited. I'm saying that in as kind and matter-of-fact way as I possibly can. Now, this is also in memory of my mother. We're going to just segue into actual, real, XX chromosome female women. And uh, I wrote a book for children called My Heart, Your Heart. And this was the heart that I gave my mother. It was sent back to me uh, in the last year of her life. And then I had my own heart. And we talked about how we would each hold our hearts. Um, and this was from 2018 to September 17th of 2019 um, when she died at age 100. Uh, I just don't think I can bother with flipping everything around. Um, so I'm just going to show you the pictures. This is my book about the last times, the last goodbyes. So there's my crocus. And it's from iUniverse. You can get the ebook uh, very cheaply. And um, uh, it is also available in soft cover for, I think, $17. <clears throat> this is a polished stone. It is beautiful and special. I held it in my hand, felt it get warm. I pressed it in my palms, then to my cheek to remember the smoothness. It is a garnet. I looked at it and picked it up every day. I came on the long trip then and brought along the stone. It was autumn. I collected some leaves from outside where they had turned yellow. I collected them after they fell. Just like long ago when I collected pretty leaves for mother, I gave them to you, Mom, to see your smile. My white stone stayed home. It was always my stone, its alabaster carved to look like a valentine. It also warms up when I hold it in my hand. It is the twin of your garnet heart. The garnet is shaped more like a real heart beating inside your chest. I found some moss to bring to you, and we touched its softness. We talked about the moss on my place and how I always brought moss home when I was little. You and I would touch it back then too, we both loved nature. My alabaster heart reflects back the light, just like the moon. Let's see if it, oh, it is kind of reflective. There you go. 
Find the moon and think of me. I will find you in the moon, too. I told you about the half-fallen oak on my place. You are old, but this oak is much older. See how part of it has fallen? We thought and thought about that storm. It must have been a long one and a big one. The mighty trunk is like us, like you and me. We have seen so much, and yet we still stand. Your heart has often been a light-hearted heart. Other old things and toys are fond of it. And I had a picture of <laughs> these things of my father's. It is important when we are far away to find the light-hearted little things. We look for the light, the reflections of this world, as we live our closeness. We are lucky for our closeness from near or from far. Look, a tree floats in this water. Do you see? It is a blessing, we say to each other. <laughs> My heart found a place with friends, too. Remember when I brought a frog inside as a surprise for you? I do. Winter came and we saw the trees turn to frozen lace. Each, of our own, each in our own places now we wrote to each other. We read good books and we talked about them. You told me that you read my letters five times. That made me smile and I wrote more. Remember our friend Meveline? We loved her so much. I named my Meveline after her. There she is with dad's baby shoe. We always wondered, what happened to the other shoe? There's my doll, <laughs> Meveline. <laughs> you can't really see the shoe in the picture. But we did wonder, what happened to the other shoe? Oh, and it's it was stuffed inside with some little tiny pieces of fabric from my father's mother, because that was his baby shoe. Spring came and I came to you again. I was so happy to hold your garnet and make it warm for your hands. You tried to give it back to me. I said, no, I have its twin. We can hold our stones and be close to each other. My stone stayed back and watched over the place. It shone like the moon day and night. Find the moon and think of me. I will find you in the moon too. That last goodbye we had was so hard, but we were brave. You still had your heart, and I had mine. We had the moon. The moon is ours always. I grew flowers for your butterflies. I sketched and painted and sent. You had them all over your little room. So did I in my outside rooms. One day, I saw more than 25. I thank you now for them. Today, our hearts are together again. At last, they live inside and outside. They visit and go back home, like I did. The flowers grow joyfully, waiting for your butterflies. When I see them, I thank you. I know that when you see them, you smile somewhere because love lasts forever. My heart stays here on your memory ledge. Most of the time, that is where I go to talk to you in peace and quiet. I know you are pleased about this place. Love lasts forever. I think you wanted me to write this book so others will know how to do it too. We can be glad for it. Love lasts forever. And here's my mother and my grandmother and her sisters sometime right after the end of World War II. And there we are. Respect your body. Don't change your body like that. Be well always in mind and body.